Well, thank you very much. Um, I have already heard, and with my heart, that today we have such a fine collection of uh, talks, and certainly it's my pleasure to talk about something uh, rather uh, different. Uh, I'm going to talk about green power paint for your window and more. for some reason. Okay, here we go. <laughs> well, I will explain what does those words mean. There's uh, three components, this green, and it's power, and it's paint. Okay, I guess sometimes you uh, wish your windows are not completely clear, especially the windows that are facing the west in a place like South Florida, today is 90 degrees. <laughs> um, and all those windows that are between your house and your neighbors, where the privacy is a concern. A common way to solve those uh, problems is to apply a window tint. Uh, you, you know that uh, a window tint looks like, right? Um, I actually have some samples if you could pass me that back. Sorry, thank you. Um, Sorry about that. This is a window tint, okay? So to be able to create a better and a smarter window tint uh, has been one of the motives behind uh, our green power paint technology. Okay. So instead of uh, merely blocking the sunlight with a window tint, a smart window tint uh, can take full advantage of it by generating electricity. A device that has uh, such a function, as you know, is called a solar cell. Well, we are very familiar with uh, this kind of uh, solar cells, which are based on crystalline silicon. And those silicon solar cells um, has a very high initial cost, is because the manufacturing process requires high temperature, as obviously you can see from the furnace, and high vacuum as well. Not only so, there are panes with those uh, crystalline silicon solar panels. For one, they're heavy, as indicated here by the need of three people to install one solar panel on the roof. For two, they're brittle as shown here in the lower picture, if one of the guys messed up, you end up with broken silicon pieces. All these have translated into high shipping costs and high installation costs, and in addition to the high manufacturing cost to start with. And silicon solar panel also has limited applications. Uh, for instance, obviously it's not applicable to put those solar panels over your window because they are opaque. Another motive that we have behind the development of the green power paint is also due to the availability of window area in a building. In a commercial house like you see in the left, um, the window areas can be uh, as big as 10 times comparing with the roof area where the conventional silicon solar panels could be installed. In a commercial skyscraper, like you say, on the right, uh, the ratio is even higher. In another word, there is a huge commercial market out there, which is also a playground for physicists like me. <laughs> <laughs> and, but one thing I can tell you is that it's certainly challenging to create a semi-transparent, uh, smart window tint. The meantime, that has the potential for cost-effective large area manufacturing. Uh, there are two challenges we have to overcome fundamentally. Uh, let me show you the first challenge we have to overcome. I bring here with me uh, some samples of the commercially available solar panels on the market. And I will just quickly show you this. Do you see this shiny? This is metal. And our first challenge 
is to replace this metal because clearly this is a view blocker. And the second challenge would be to develop a simple methodology that could apply the paint directly onto the window glass or can create a separate product that you can attach to the window later on. And so, based on all those motives, and you know, we have tried through a very hard research work in the past two years, and we certainly hope we have possibly identified a pain reliever for, for the solar market. Um, what we call a spray on solar cell technology um, is a solution based. And now comes to my question in the very beginning of my talk. Why the word green? The green means we use a material system that are carbon based. So it's environmentally friendly. And it will degrade just naturally give it time. And this technology is meant for large scale manufacturing because the methodology is based on spray technique. Uh, so this can have much higher production rates compared with uh, uh, crystal in silicon panels you just saw. And this technology is completely vacuum free. And also because the material that we use, um, we could actually have a customizable colors, which means your windows can be colorful as well as semi-transparent, <laughs> which is certainly a plus. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to show you, before I show my next slide, some of my assortment that I bring with me today. Okay, so this is uh, our, you can clearly say, this is uh, semi-transparent. And just showing here is a comparison. And you see this is a different color. Well, um, so what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> it just shows me. Which is not bad, I see you in the semi transparent. What did I just do? Oh, okay, yeah, here we go. Yes, we see the different color, and this one is more like the window tint you're familiar with. It's a light blue. Um, and we also can have the purple one, which I can see clearly here, but you probably cannot see here. Uh, Comparing with uh, the normal sil silicon solar panels, and clearly the difference you can say. And another thing I wanted to mention is the advantage of uh, this, Siberian solar cell. It actually performs more efficient under ambient light, for instance, like the light from the fluorescence lamp. And this opens a um, whole area of uh, new application with indoors. Not only that, as I just demonstrated, we could also have a tunable tinting, which ranging from a little bit darker shade. I'm sorry, you see this is completely dark, but it's actually not. You can clearly say the words behind it. Uh, to a medium uh, shade, to a highly transparent shade like this, which will be hopefully available in the near future. As mentioned before, uh, the better and smarter window tint is supposed to make your window smart. Okay, so this is a model house just representing what we we have uh, to live in every day. Um, in the next two minutes, I'm going to show you a small movie demonstrating uh, the function of a solar window. I hope the movie will work because this is a really cool movie. Um, if it doesn't work, then it doesn't seem to work. But is there any way that I can make this movie work? Just maybe click on that for me. Click on the icon above. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, but maybe uh, I could show that movie later on. So basically what in that movie is my student Jason was demonstrating uh, the power generation from a solar window, like what you say over here. Um, and then that could power up the rotor blades from a remote controlled helicopter. And as he adjusts the distance uh, far away or closer to the sunlight, which uh, we can adjust the speed of the rotor blades. And I'm sorry, it just didn't work. It's a really cool movie. Um, but I wanted to also show you something else. Um, ever since we have um, created this, 
and we have actually scaled it up. And this is a foot square uh, solar panel. And of course, it has uh, much, pow much more uh, power compared with this one. And we also have uh, achieved the flexible one. Remember, I was talking about the attachment. We have made this one as well. So everything here is by spray. There's no metal, nothing. It's done in room temperature. And although the technology uh, was initiated by, you know, the thinking about the window tint, but it goes beyond the first uh, uh, objective. And what's shown here is a car that instead of the normal paint that you have our green power paint on, which can generate electricity, especially uh, in the desert like this. In the end, I would like to thank my students at USF who have uh, diligently working on the science. Uh, Dr. Jason Lewis, who is a co-inventor of this technology and also is a graphic artist. So all the, my talk today, he uh, helped me to prepare that. And my students, Evan and Patrick, who are continuing to work to make the technology better. Thank you very much.